Hello, and welcome back to Udongin X in the last part. I did the last of the Robot Master stages with you know, Tenshi and then Sage of Stage. And Stage of Stage was awful, so I know I hope I never have to do anything like it again. I just realized apparently every single stage had like a secret key. And the only one I got was Tenchi's one. I knew where the, I know where the dormy one was, but I have no idea where any of the other ones were. So apparently I just missed like all of them. Oh well. Anyway, and this time we're gonna start the escape's equivalent of the Wily stages, which I guess starts with Raybu. Sure she's gonna be you're going to the foot of Yokai Mountain. Okay. Don't know why Raybu is there, but she is. Anyway, it's been two days since I played this game. Hopefully I remember how to play it, right? So, yeah, she bought this this. Yep. Shooty shoot button is this, you charge, shoot, shoot button. And then I had to start out with three bombs, I think, because didn't I... Omiji, what are you... Omiji! Omiji, I don't really appreciate this. Omiji! <laughs> oh, this is going great so far. Anyway, yeah, like I said, it's been two days since I recorded all of the previous episodes, which means hopefully I can finish the game today and be done with this to record sessions. Momiji! Momiji, please. You're not a very fun enemy, Momiji. I can't really... Momiji! Momiji! Oh my god, why are there so many Momichis? I guess, like I said, for Aya, this might just be a random ass wolf tango. I mean, from what I've, from what's been shown in like um, art of wolf tango, from like, yep, they can really just shoot me from up there. That's cool. Yes, give my health. Yeah, what's been shown of like wolf tango and like um, the manga, they seem to all look like Momiji anyway. Wow, shut the fuck it in. All the Momijis everywhere! Momijis! I feel like a rock's gonna fall on me when I go past that gap, you know? Oh, it didn't. Wow. So, yeah, it's, oh, those small rocks hurt me. That's great! Yeah. Don't get hit by a rock. I hope I made it to the checkpoint. Man, I love it when enemies are slightly under where I can't hit them. Great. One day I'll start talking about what I want to talk about. One day. In that day, Gomijis will go away. I mean, it's been two weeks, two days since I played this game, I'm playing it again, and in those two days, I made, I, made, I made a decision yesterday, and that decision was that I am making a highlight video out of the series. So, I worked on that yesterday, and I edited together all of the episodes that were recorded two days ago. And... You know, there's gonna be however many episodes it takes for me to finish these last couple of stages, which I think there's at least four of them, so there should be at least two more episodes out of this. And then I'll add those two together, and then, um, the highlight video will be done, and it'll probably be uploaded the day after the last day of this part. It's uploaded the last day, the last part of the series is uploaded from Momiji. Oh my god, Momiji! Wow! I, uh, I didn't even need that. I was at full health. But yeah, um, that highlight video is already like 20 minutes long, just for the first four parts, so if there isn't like that many, that much of note that happens in these last couple parts, then that's okay. I already have plenty of material. What do you want me to do here? There is a giant pit of spikes. And there is no platform for me to not fall into the spikes. You know you die instantly in spike pits on hard mode? So, uh, clearly, I'm so oh, fuck you! Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? It just keeps going. Holy shit, it just keeps going. Did it? So, yeah, not that much of note happens in these last couple parts. At least I have enough material for like 20 minutes, which is long enough for a highlight video anyway, and I don't like another 20 minutes is gonna come out of this, so I didn't want the highlight video to be like more than 40 minutes, and at this rate it's not going to be. You don't want your highlight video to be too long, 
because that kind of ruins the point. Anyway, that was the whole stage. Nice. I'm going to die with two at eight Or I only have three HP. Going on a morning stroll, are we? Ah, uh, you know, just enjoying the sunrise. Don't play dumb with me, I know about your little group of friends. In that case, let me get to the point. Let me through, Reimu. This is none of your business. Do you have to... Didn't we go through the Dream World portal earlier? Can't you just use that? Whatever. Like hell, it isn't. You people from the Lunar Capital can't be trusted. Stop messing with Kinsokyo already. Anyways, probably that, that looks like a bigger HP bar than normal, but then again, it's been two games since I played this game, so maybe it's not. Um, Rainbow! Rainbow! Uh, how am I not dead yet? No, I'm not dead. Okay, time to fight Rainbow! Either eventually. The weird thing about Raven doesn't doesn't he have a bit isn't there a whole like stick is that she apparently like can't lose, but then like in the main series it's made a game she like loses all the time, so I guess like it's just only she only can't lose like when it's important or something. I don't know. The longer time goes on between the amount of time it's been since I've read Toll Lore, the more inaccurate my remembrance of what said Toll Lore is. Don't don't take me as an accurate um, source of information for Toll Lore, I'm not one. Rainbow! It's not a baseball! Rainbow, please. Rainbow! There we go. Earth means a lot to me, too! Please let me handle this, Rainbow. God, just go already. Yawn, I should have slept some more. Oh, great. Yeah, so, um, I just uploaded the first part of the, the Toe 15 videos, and uh, as you know, I bit, uh, went a bit loopy while having to fight Junko. So Junko's bullshit, so hopefully Junko's not bullshit. You are going to the Kayan Passageway. For the fourth one. There's apparently three other ones. Good to know. Oh, I get to fly again. Cool. I got it. Oh! The dash button is focus. Oh, that's good to know, I guess. Probably would have made a bit of the Dormy stage easier. Wow, you have a bit of, a bit of HP there, buddy. Give me that! Right, so one thing I wanted to talk about before I forget. Um, so, I was talking in the previous episode about lost word writing because it happened to get brought up while I was talking about the dancers who are the servants of you know who and that made me think yeah, uh, so talking about how I don't remember most of lost word writing because I don't remember being particularly invested in it, like most of it but I do remember like one section from the, like, Hakyokuro Arena arc, or whatever. Where, um, you, like, go down against Tokyo and you find out what all happened there because it got changed a bunch because of the tree or whatever. And again, I don't remember most of the details, it's been years. But, um, I had an idea for a video, and I don't know if I'm gonna end up going through with this, because there might be complications, and it's also, like, a drastic difference from what I normally do. But, um, there's that, you know, there's this thing that Asprey FM's been doing recently where he goes to, like, Lost Word events and reads them. And I was thinking something I could maybe do, since I happen to have fond memories of that one particular part of that. This is a lot harder than the Dormy stage, isn't it? I happen to remember liking that one section from Lost Words. I was thinking maybe I could make a video where I could, like, go back and. You know, find a YouTube video at first, you know, 
know, I'm gonna have to spread it, so. Um, like, showing the entire, like, part of the story and just reading through it. If that exists, and that exists for all the events, so I assume it exists for the main story as well. I can just go through it and, like, I don't know, react to it, talk about it, read it, and see if it's as good as I remember it being. And then, I don't know, maybe in the process, talk about some other things while reading it. It's probably gonna be, because one of the first, um, possible complications that is I have no idea how long that's gonna be, because, um, um normally when S3FM reads those total long word events, um, he goes at times two speed, and the streams are, are still like two hours. And so, I don't want to go at two times speed because um, I don't really have a playlist of music available to listen to. So in the background, so I need to listen to the actual audio from the video. And if I go at two times speed, that's going to be you know not great. So I need to go at normal speed, which means uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it takes me like five hours total to read all that. Which means obviously it's going to be in very many parts and probably going to have to be recorded over multiple days. So yes, you know an idea I had, I might go through with it, I might not. I might have already done it by the time this gets uploaded, or I might have shelved the idea for later but still plan to do it. Who knows? How much, how much of the stage is left? I feel like I've been going at this for a while. Don't start dying now, please. That's the end of the stage, good. I am a bunny rabbit, but I am not. You know, I was jumping on the moon there for a second, but not really. Choco, what are you doing here? You're not breaking the deal we've made, are you? That's the edge button. I'm simply curious about that group of soldiers I observed here not long ago. Ah, uh, I see. They're with you now. Do you wish to proceed through here? You can go ahead. However, I can't say the same for those moon rabbits. They're still my enemy. I remember, like, asking this question where I wasn't exactly sure how, what Junko's motivations are. If she actually, like, hates everyone on the moon, but I guess in this... And this she does, because she just kind of hates these moon rabbits for no reason, even though they're not really in her way right now. Whatever. I see how it is. Let's not waste any time, then. Jump to Junko. Oh! First name, Junko. Last name, Junko. Me and my brother, Luigi Junko, we go way back. Back in the 80s. We had Super Junko brothers. Sisters. Siblings, fuck, that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the word when it's two genders, yes. And then we save Princess uh, Undyne. Yep, that happened. What am I talking about? I need to pay attention here, I'm almost one. There, one. That went better than expected. Interesting. Even as an Earth Rabbit, you willingly choose to descend into Moon's insanity. Not really sure why, either. What do you wish to find there, if I may ask? Well, these rabbits still need an escort home, but also my past. I want to bury it and move on. I'd like if people moved on from the characters in your past as well, Rayson. How fascinating. How are you so sure you'll be getting out of there alive? I'm not. It's just a gamble I have to take. In that case, I wish you a safe trip. Goodbye, Jungle. Um, it's only been 14 minutes. I've already got through half the stages. This was not expected at all. I thought this would be two stages an episode. Um, at this rate, this might just be a really long final episode. Anyway, Sargave, I've said my piece about Sargave, I'm not gonna do it again. You're going to see of tranquility. Everyone knows Sonic Sargave. It's uh, not my favorite character, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, rabbits. Um, Ryson. Kind of a 
how to pull point here and stuff. It helped the moon rapid, so now you're just you know, fucking shooting a bunch of them. Is that kind of counterintuitive to your goals here? Whatever. Anyway, I'm underwater right now. I guess that's the thing about um, Total 15, it's because of the way that game works, the fact that it's like, you're not technically fighting the moon. Well, I guess you are in like the first two stages, but after that you're not really, and there's only two little moon rabbits there. You don't actually fight moon rabbits as like, normal enemies. You just fight Saren and Ringo, and that makes me wonder, like, you know, Saren and Ringo, they're like bosses. And I don't think they're like, particularly stronger than the average moon rabbit. I don't think they are, anyway. But this just seems to be a thing where every time there's like generic moon, ra moon rabbits in um, a total fan game, they're always normal enemies. Which I guess makes sense. That's just a, a weird thing where you have like, you have moon rabbits basically being treated as no different than fairies, whereas like every single moon rabbit in the actual series is given a full on boss form. And again, like the same as true fairies as well. That had a much bigger blast radius than I was expecting. Okay. Yeah, at least that was a checkpoint. Anyway, here are these moon rabbits. Um, yeah, they have those weird, like, like um, they basically all dress like Grayson did in Toe 8. Which I guess was just kind of a, probably like a, Decision made after the fact. They're probably just like, yo, Racing wears this. You probably have all the other moon rabbits wear this, which means the the thing that Racing wears in Total Eight is probably like her actual military uniform. But, you know, people, sometimes people complain that Racing doesn't wear that anymore. She hasn't since eight. She basically ever since nine has worn like this white shirt thing. But when you consider the fact that it's probably her military uniform, it probably makes a lot of sense why she's never worn that since. Like, would she ever want to wear that again? I imagine she wouldn't. He's spotting enemies. Yes. Yeah. I think these moon rabbits, they have these weird, like, special, like, it seems to be like, well, like, special agent clothes, but then they fight, which, you know, that, that works for racing, because she looks, it's that, like, special 007 look going on. I don't know what I'm talking about here. But the point is, um, the other moon, moon rabbits don't. They, um, they have, like, World War One era bayonets for some fucking reason, and then they wear World War One era helmets, and it's just, I have no idea why. And it doesn't really make work with the rest of their outfit. Anyway, you. You're the rabbit that fell to Earth. I'm also the rabbit that saved your ass at 15, but you know, skip that part. Why have you returned? Which is, by the way, canon to this game, because it is what, because... Race and Junko know each other, so that's the route that happened. Can't you tell, Sagabe? I'm here to escort those rabbits back to their home. Seeing as they have abandoned their objective, they shall be severely punished if you give them over to the authorities. I see how it is. Let's not waste any time, then. I guess they abandoned their objective, but they... Crash landed, yep. Top. Game? Game? What the fuck? My charge button stopped working for a second there, that was weird. So now I'm definitely gonna lose this because that happened. Like I said, I guess Racer didn't technically save your ass in 15. Um, she saved. Um, Gensokyo was assets from you, technically, until you did your plot powers that made it to where that plan would no longer work, so you had to put all your trust in Racing. So then she did save your ass after the point. And I like Sakurai's theme, it's pretty cool. I think I did a cover of it once, yeah, I did. Wow. And then that jump button didn't work. Is there something going on here, or is my keyboard fucking dying? Oh! Yeah, it's in the corner there. You have the ability to just take my shit away. Oh. I wish that was choreographed a bit better than that. It took me a better to 
bit to realize that. Alright, this is the second to last stage. For the love of God, can there not- I can't shoot. Are you fucking kidding me? Die, Sakurai, I don't care. Anything about you. I hate everything about you, not really. I don't care about you at all. Can I trust you to escort them to the Lunar Capital safely then, Sagume? Dot dot dot. I'll take that as a yes. Don't know why, that's just not an answer at all. Only one thing left to do now. And you're putting a lot of trust in Sagume here, I wouldn't, but apparently you are. It's her! You are going to Lunar Capital. I didn't even get an intro scene, huh? Anyway, yeah, it's it's her. Uh, I think I've said this before. I like, I, I like, I don't like Yori Hime, but like I don't dislike her as much as you'd probably assume that I did from how much I should talk to both people. But like, the thing about Yori Hime is, I uh, guess, um. The way she is in, like, Silent Center's Blue is pretty fucking stupid, but, like, ignoring that, um, when people, like, actually nerf her and allow her to be beatable, um, she makes, like, a pretty interesting boss in fan games sometimes, and I think her abilities could make some pretty unique attacks, so I figured that there's at least stuff there with your Ahime, whereas with her fucking sister, it's like nothing there. It's, like, Toy Ahime is just, um... She lazy, she eat peach, but also she real strong and can be anyone yes. And she looks like every other Toho character. Long blonde hair. Okay. She's got that peach hat thing, which I guess Tenshi definitely did after the fact, but Tenshi definitely became the character to hold that. Anyway, it's not important. What is important is that I'm on the moon fighting moon rabbits again. The Boon Bunny, who is no longer the Boon Bunny, but she's the Earth Bunny. She fight the Boon Bunnies. And the fact that I'm kicking their ass so much probably tells me that that fucking helmet probably isn't doing that much to help them. I really do have to wonder what his thought process was. He was like, yep, um, I've got these Moon Rabbits who are wearing this tuxedo thing that Racin wore. But uh, now I'm gonna put them in a helmet and then they give them a bayonet. Like, why? Can can I get past this part here? <sighs> I have to like fucking dash this before I can't. Mm -hmm. I need to go a bit further than that. Yeah, bitch, Mortis. Yeah. This is right after this. Yes. Yeah, Save point two. So. Yeah, could you just fucking stop? Oh my fucking god. Yeah, this isn't even remotely fun at all. I'd, I'd like to get up the fucking wall. Fucking wall! Uh -huh. Yep, this part sucks. Well, this was going really smoothly. I got like three stages done in 20 minutes, and now I'm gonna be here for 20 minutes. Yep, got through that for the complete luck. Great. Don't put me back there again. Just let me get to more fun parts. That was big, just kind of big jump there. If this was stage a stage, that probably would have killed me, but luckily. Uh, it's in Sage of Stage, and so far, it's the last stage of the game, and I think I'm pretty confident in saying that Sage of Stage was the worst stage in the game. Not really surprising, because Sage of, it's just a whole slew of used as an excuse to put weird bullshit in video game, because she is can just fucking stupid, stupid fucking rabbit. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, and I'm gonna have to go back there again. No, I'm not, because I can help. Thank you. I can actually reach her. I didn't expect that. Man, this is going way faster than I thought. I might actually have to, like, record something else today. 
which I was not expecting at all. I thought these last four levels would take me like two hours, and they're not. Not even remotely. So it's not in the cards at all. Normally Wily stages in Mega Man games, they take like quite a long, long time. But these just aren't. Oh no. I mean, I don't mean to like, you know, like, give myself too much credit here, but, like, I have gotten better at the game as I've played it. Because if you go to, like, my first episode, where, like, it took me fucking four tries to beat Tay, I think it's, it's like, it, I think I can at least tell myself that I've gotten at least a bit better at this game, so it's resulted in it not taking me as long to beat these stages. This is the cue for the game to start killing me a million times now. That's another weird thing, you know, you have the Moon Rabbits, they wear that, um, they wear Racing's Garb from 8, but Sarah and Ringo don't, for some reason. I mean, I know why they don't, because it's one wants, like, more unique character signs, but lore-wise, I don't get why they don't. Is it because they're, like, evil rabbi or whatever, and they get to use, like, wear whatever they want, basically? Hello, Sarah 2, or, Sarah, Racing 2. Wow, you have more health than I expected you to. You're still going there, buddy. We're just like mindlessly charging at you with a bayonet. It's kind of cute, I guess. Ah, racing is hit. Retreat. Retreat. Could have had, could have had an opportunity to have a lot more dialogue between those two characters. And just, it, I don't think those characters have ever spoken because the thing about Silent Center and Blue, which I've just never understood, with the things I don't like about Silent Center and Blue. Grayson's not a character in that at all. I think mean, she is. I think she makes an appearance or whatever. But she is fucking irrelevant in the game that where the her, her previous owners are the main antagonists. And you know, I've brought this up before, and I think um I had like I brought this up in I think some sort of conversation before, and I think I had someone who thought was like, well, she doesn't do anything because she's not like she doesn't want to. Or she's just not relevant for two. And I just like well then change the plot of the story to where it is relevant, because it's just weirdly written, where it's like, yep, here's the characters that are important to Racing's backstory, but Racing's not important to the story at all. It's just really weird. Silence and blues. Anyway, I stopped there, because I thought this was the end of the stage. It's fine. I could have kept going while talking there. Hey, remember bombs? There are a system in this game. I can use them. No, I don't have bombs. Um... What you? What is that preventing me from doing? I can't tell. I can dash and jump and shoot. And charge shot. Yeah, I can't tell what that's not allowing me to do. I have no HP. And once again, that is a much larger blast radius than I was expecting. You know, there is not a cross on that microphone, and I did a test core recording immediately before this that worked. So I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this recording this microphone is recording right now, but if it's not, oh my god, if it's not, Okay. Yeah, I can't dash right now. So I have to like I have to really try there. All right, two more of you. Come on. Well, didn't think that hit me. Well, I was supposed to stay up there, and then I didn't, so just, yeah, goodbye. It don't matter. Get me- uh, get up the fucking wall, racing! Oh, that's- that's what I can't do. I can't wall jump. That's why this entire section is here. Yeah, just, just kill me. Yeah, wall jump. That- I guess that's what that symbol means. I, I guess I can kind of see it now. Yeah. About 30 minutes here, so at this rate, you know, hopefully this doesn't end up going but other, over like 50 minutes, that'd be a bit too long. And it's too late now, I can't split this into two parts. Because if I did, the second part wouldn't have an intro. And it's really weird. Anyway, yeah, I, I don't know if I'll end up making that Lost Word video. And at this rate, apparently I'm gonna have to start Scar Scarlet Curiosity today. Which was not what I planned to do, but... 
I dash up here. I really wish enemies just didn't respawn like this, because you see how I literally just, like, barely moved, and now she's back again. Fuck it. No, you can't do that. How did I do this the first time? Didn't I get up there earlier? How'd I do that? Oh, Morty. This was going well. It's not going well anymore. Oh, jeez. Did you know? That Hawaii is a state in the United States of America. But despite that fact, it is very far off from the rest of the continental United States. Been my TED talk. The Hawaii happens to be on the mind because you know it's been it's been like a week or so. But you know I was talking about previous videos about watching Yakuza 8. Well, Yakuza 8 a lot of take place in Hawaii, so that's neat, I guess. To change the scenery since all the other Yakuza games take place exclusively in Japan, because you know obviously. shit again. Again, these instant these pit spikes are instant death on hard mode. Glad I'm not playing that. Um I can't dash or wall jump, huh? Okay, I don't appreciate that. I gotta like time my shit here. Bomb, uh, I should probably use these bombs considering they don't stack after three. Leads me the end. It's not the end! Thank you for help. Goodbye! Die faster, please! God damn it! Really? Please don't kill me. Oh, thank you. Dash. How do I get over here without dashing? Can you stop fucking respawning, dickhead? Spawning enemies. Are That's not a very nice place to put that enemy. Man, I really wish characters would just die. You know what I'm just thinking about right now? I haven't spent my remaining P, have I? So I'm just on the last level at a complete disadvantage because I didn't spend my points. The boss. Maybe the boss. Right. There you are. I'm just gonna try have the charging sound effect go on for this entire cutscene, aren't I? My button, my hand's not on the button anymore. It just, it just keeps doing that. So that means the charge is gonna go off automatically when the cutscene ends. Dot dot exclamation point. Raw racing. It's me. And do you have a death wish? I can't see why else you would come back. Well, I was here to deliver a group of moon rabbits home safely. The same group you sent on Earth to die. Oh, is that so? And how many moon rabbits did you hurt to get here? Heroes have to make some sacrifices. Okay, okay, race me. After all, eliminating the source of the problem will save many more down the line. Grayson, you're not acting like yourself. You haven't known- you haven't seen her in like 50 fucking years. How- of course she acts different. We really did miss you. I even named my new pet after you. That's... Um, that... that... i am be honest, that doesn't seem like a very, like, good... That sounds like he replaced her. Not that you, you cared about, whatever. Yes, that pet put up quite a fight. You're horrible. Forcing her to live up to someone who's long gone. Racing can't say that. People aren't going to be happy if you say they're horrible for that. You can't say that, Racing. Long gone. Racing, you're standing right there. 
My name is Raisin Udongin in a bar. It in 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 Raisin Udongin in a bar. In a bar. Why can't I say the fucking word in a bar? In, in a bar. Raisin Udongin in a bar. An apprentice to the brightest mind in the universe and a hero of planet Earth. The Raisin Yunu is no more, and as long as I'm alive, I can't allow you to attack my home ever again. Ooh, so you're the student Yako Koro mentioned in her last letter. How exciting. Very well, let's see your determination to keep your word, Raisin. Uh, sorry, you're a game. You're a game. I'm about to die before I have 4 HP right now. Okay! Alright, Iku. Two. I can't dash through here. I'd like to dash through here faster. I, I'd assume this is a remix of Yorihime's one and only theme, but I don't exactly remember how it goes off the top of my head, because it's not a theme I particularly care about. Great. Oh, you're even better than Yugi, because Yugi just blocks the attack, but you don't want attack, don't you? I'm gonna be here for a while. You just fucking heal? You stupid bitch. Kidding me? All right, hour long episode, twenty minutes, just me in this. Let's go. I kind of really can't talk too much here. I actually do need to concentrate. Okay, she does that. I need to. Pay attention. She does that. Uh -huh. Oh god. Does that? Uh huh? She heals. Oh, she's a cheaty bitch. You know I can't heal in this game, by the way. Normally you have E tanks or something to make a bit. Yep, I can't heal. No people complain. Oh, the, the boss heals. You shouldn't be able to do that. And sometimes people counter with. You know, well you're able to heal. So if you're able to heal, the boss is able to heal. And you're like, good point, I guess, but here, I can't heal, and your aim I can't. She's just cheating. Not like cheating's anything new for this character. Yeah, I guess case in point for my like opinion of these two. Your Ahime is the one doing everything, and the other one's just fucking sitting there. But she's as strong as the other one, trust me. Lore says so. Okay, so she shoot lightning. Lightning shoot bullet. Bullet turn into other bullet when hit hit screen. Yep. I mean it's the final boss, so of course it needs to be hard. But like, considering I think I did I, I I don't think I beat Sargamo on my first try, but it wasn't that difficult. And then the next boss. Is this. Okay, that counters a bit. Yeah. Damn it. Can I, like, shoot you so you can't heal? Or something? Is that, is that a thing? Oh yes, I'm going to test Raisin to make sure her determination is good, because you know she's just testing her, because Raisin could never plus possibly beat this character without it, be without it just being a test. But in my test, I'm going to heal. Get a fucking cheese lord. That's a different pattern, is it not? Ah, god, that was fast! Oh, I can use that to heal. Never mind then. I guess she's not cheating. Good for her. Oh. 
hope this isn't an hour-long recording because of this. And I was joking about it earlier, but at this rate it might be. Yorehibe! Yorehibe! God, such a fucking fast. Sword attack is problematic. And I'm not talking here because I'm trying to concentrate, and I really hope the microphone doesn't start making stupid fucking noises because I hate this microphone. Oh no, I'm just gonna stop talking. And then if this goes on for too long, I don't know, maybe I'll edit it to different music or something. By the time I was a little rapid, she went back home, and home was not very welcoming to her. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to, like, dodge those red bullets to come off the blue bullets. That part's excessive. I basically always get hit by it, so even if I dodge the blue bullets, I just get hit by the red bullets. God fucking damn it. So I guess the heal only happens once, so that's good to know. I was worried it would happen, like, multiple times and I'd be here forever. Or maybe it's random. Maybe it's like a random attack. Wouldn't that be bullshit? It was like randomly part of her attack pattern. Probably not. It's probably like one time script thing. Yeah, well, I fuck that up, didn't I? Yeah, this is not a good attempt, is it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, stupid fucker, really? Of all the attacks you could have used at that moment, that one? There. Huh. Huh. Hey. What's so funny? The funny thing is that you're covered in bleach and outcome. No. You never did disappoint in the end. You were always overflowing with potential. Even back when you couldn't hold a rifle properly, I could tell. What are you on about? You're not going to kill me? The intruder who was identified as a moon rabbit, a user of lunatic red eyes, only known as Racin, who was presumed dead up to this point, has been eliminated. Toyo Ime, do you see any moon rabbits like that standing here? Nope. Can't see a thing at all. You really eliminated her. Good, you're a Ime. Haha, that settles it then. Oops, I accidentally opened a portal back to Earth. Would be a shame if someone used it now to go back. You do. If this Raisin was here, I'd tell her to say hi to Yako Koro about now. Uh, and I would tell her to take care and have a safe trip. Too bad it's just us here. Hey, you're a he -may. Let's go file that report. And that's the game. Broken moon. I, I guess that's. I guess that does fit. Yes. Well, that was that was this game. Uh, yeah, it was definitely worth a dollar. I'd say it was probably we worth the five dollars that it's probably back to being now because I think the Steam Summer Sale's over. It'll definitely be over by the time it get up, gets uploaded in like a week. Yeah, that was, 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 was fun. I'm glad there was a normal mode because if there was a hard mode, if the hard mode was the only option, I, I would have given up on the first stage. I, I just would have because I'm not good at this game. Because I'm not... Good at Mega Man games, just never played them, I barely played them. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how long this credit scene is, I don't particularly have much to say. It was just a fun game, I had fun. The last, the Wily stage went way faster than I was expecting. I was expecting them to take at least two hours, and it took me, what, like, 45 minutes? A little over that. So it's gonna be a bit of a longer episode. I don't know how long, much long these credits are going to be, but it's not going to be another 10 minutes, so it'll be less than an hour. So it'll be quite a bit longer than the rest of the series. Although I say that, I think there was an episode that was like 40 minutes. One of them, I don't remember which one. I know the third one. But maybe the second one. The second one was one I did three stages, it might have been that one. Yeah, I don't know if it was just me getting better at the game or what, but yeah, the Wily stages, they went by a lot quicker than I was expecting to. Thank you for playing End. Also, there are, like, challenges or something that you can only do if you play hard mode, so... If I can't play hard mode, then... You know, I probably wouldn't be able to do the challenge. Lunatic difficulty unlocked. Select reset save data and start a new playthrough and change your difficulty to. That's... That's weird. There's an extra stage? What do you mean there's an extra stage? The fact that there's a, um... You know, unlock the hardest difficulty by playing normal is quite weird. What do you mean there's an extra stage? What are you talking about, game? Uh-huh. Never mind, we're not done. There's an extra stage. So I'll see you then. That might be a really short episode or it might be a really long episode if it's a long stage. We'll see you then. Bye.